not seeing my videos in your subscription feed, make sure you've clicked the little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of all my newest uploads. Hey, what's up people, Pizzow here, and this is Hellraiser the Scarlet Box. This is the Region A release of this box set from the fine folks over at Arrow Video. Now, I know I'm showing up a little bit late to the party with this release, and that's really for a couple of reasons. Reason number one, I managed to get my hands on this set. Now, I call this the Trilogy Box set from Arrow Video. This is the Region B locked set. This includes uh, the first three Hellraiser films and the extras on the uh, this set for Hellraiser 1, 2, and 3 are the same as the extras on this set for Hellraiser 1, 2, and 3. So for a full review of this set with all the extras, as you see listed there, quite a few extras on each disc, including the Leviathan documentary. I did a separate video. Go check out that video. I'll link it at the end of this video. So if you want to know about all the extras on this release because they're the same extras that are on the Blu-ray releases for Hellraiser 1, 2, and 3 on this set. I also balked at the Scarlet Box because of the price. Now this set was going for, uh, in, at, at some outlets, for $100 or more. Now Arrow had this listed for about $80, bucks, and I just couldn't pull the trigger because I had the other set. Now two things happened. One, Arrow posted on social media that their supply of this set at their warehouse was dwindling and that Amazon's supply on their website was also dwindling and that if you wanted to purchase this set and add it to your collection, now was the time. The very next day I got a surprise check in the mail from Ebates. Now, I don't want to turn this into an Ebates shill video, but if you guys do any shopping online at Amazon, at Walmart.com, at Kohl's, at JCPenney, at GameStop.com, at virtually any online retail outlet, you should check out Ebates because Ebates gives you um, specific discounts for each outlet and they give you a percentage of your total purchase back to you. I'll put a link in the description. Follow that link. If you sign up under me um, and you make your first purchase, they throw a few bucks back my way. So it's a win-win situation. And that check <laughs> made this video possible. Made it possible for me to get this box set. That check took more than half off of this box set. So definitely check out Ebates if you guys do a lot of shopping online. Okay, end of shameless Ebates plug and on with this awesome set. And uh, there is the front cover with Mr. Mr. Head there on the box. There's the side, Hellraiser, Hellbound Hellraiser 2, Hellraiser Hell on Earth. Um, there's that side. Here's the bottom with all the credits listed. And here is the back with an absolute plethora of extras. This um, set includes a fourth disc entitled The Clive Barker Legacy, which is uh, exclusive to this set, and a 200-page book, Damnation Games, which is also limited to this set. Here is the back of the set. So let's go ahead and pop this baby open and take a look at it. And it opens like so. And we'll put this aside for right now. And here we have one. And of course this, ooh, that's very nice. Here is the disc for the original Hellraiser. And I like how they come in these sort of, I don't know what you would call these, kind of cases. I guess we'll just call them cases for <laughs> for this video. But like that artwork there. Very nice. It's the original Hellraiser. We'll put that right there. Here is Hellraiser 2. Oh, goodness gracious. Pucker up. No, thank you. This guy needs to see a dentist. Stat. Lordy. There he is, Hellbound Hellraiser 2. Oh, 
My goodness, Chatterer, brush your teeth. Here we have Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth. Ah, and there is the uh, bartender Cenobite, who is actually played in the film by uh, Peter Atkins, who wrote Hellraiser 2, Hellraiser 3, and Hellraiser 4. But there is Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth. Very nice. Put those up there. Here we have, that's nice. Here we have, oh cool, we've got some, let's check this out. Yep, this is a poster. I do believe this is a reverse poster. Yes, indeed, there is the poster. This is the artwork for the Scarlet Box. And then on the reverse side is the artwork for um, just the, uh, the Trilogy box set, as I like to call it. Very nice. So you get the best of both worlds there. What else have we got here? Got some, I believe these are postcards. Yep, postcards. It's Mr. Pinhead. There's a postcard. <laughs> ah, we got Dr. Chenard. The mind is a labyrinth. Ah, we've got, ah, um, oh, geez, what was her name in the movie? Ah, the smoking Cenobite from Hellraiser 3. I forget her character's name in the movie. Forgive me. Very nice. Ah, there's Frank. Frank. Ah, there's Butterball. Very nice. And here, I believe this is um, concept art. Yes, this is some, some concept art and storyboards that Clive Barker added to uh, when he pitched the script for the original Hellraiser to studios to kind of give execs uh, an idea of what he had in mind as far as the Cenobites and their, uh, their design. So very cool. And here's the storyboards. Yeah, very nice. Let's see what have we got here? Ah, there is the Pillar of Souls. And this is, yes, this is the fourth disc, the Clive Barker Legacy. Now this disc includes Clive Barker's two short films, um, The Forbidden and Salome. Uh, they have an introduction, uh, kind of an old introduction interviews with Clive Barker, Doug Bradley, uh, Peter Atkins, and others about um, Salome and The Forbidden. I watched both. Um, they're very avant-garde. They're very um, they're very unique. They're very um, they're very Barker. I'll leave it at that. The fourth disc also includes Books of Blood and Beyond, the literary works of Clive Barker, where horror author David Gatward provides a tour through Barker's written work from the first Books of Blood to the recent Scarlet Gospels. He also talks about um, the films of Clive Barker, even, including Rawhead Rex, briefly, but he does mention Rawhead Rex, which I thought was cool. Um, really nice uh, extra there with Mr. Uh, Gatward. Uh, we also have Hellraiser Evolutions, a brand new documentary looking at the evolution of the hit horror franchise and its enduring legacy, featuring interviews with Scott Derrickson, Rick Boda, uh, Stuart Gordon, and others. They speak to Pete Atkins, they speak to Tony Randall, um, they speak to several other people as well. Um, I think they spend a little bit too much time talking about the latter Hellraiser movies. Um, but overall, it's a multi-part, multi-chapter. Um, I, I, I don't recall if it was feature length, but it was well over an hour, as I do recall. Pretty informative. They just spent a little bit too much time, for my taste, talking about some of the latter direct-to-video Hellraiser movies. And last up in this box is, see what we got at the bottom there? I'm in hell, help me. We have got this very nice, oh goodness, goodness gracious. We've got this very nice 200 page hard bound book, The Damnation Games. There it is. Uh, a pretty extensive looking write up about the Hellraiser films. There's excerpts from the screenplay. There is Anthony Hickox and Clive on the set of Hellraiser 3. 
Um, got some more Hellraiser 3 action going on there. Um, some Hellraiser 2 action here down in the labyrinth with Frank. Ah, the infamous, um, the infamous scene, the deleted scene with uh, Pinhead and the female Cenobite dressed in scrubs. Oh goodness, what is going on there? That guy's having a bad day there. Let's see what else we got here. Ah, Dr. Chenard. Yes, Frank. Looks like some handwritten script excerpts there. Very nice. Some artwork for Mr. Barker. This is a really nice hardbound 200 page book. I will definitely be spending a lot of time absorbing the information in this book about the series. Very, very nice addition to this set. Some storyboards there. Very nice. Let's see what, ah. Now that is a lovely photograph there. <laughs> You've got Anthony Hickox, the director, Terry Farrell, the star, and of course Doug Bradley is pinhead behind them during the infamous uh, church sequence in Hellraiser 3. Very nice. It's as if Pinhead is introducing the world to the bride and groom for the first time. That is so funny. Awesome. This is awesome. So, in recap, what we get in this set is this awesome 200-page hardbound book, The Damnation Games. We get the fourth disc, The Clive Barker Legacy, with some really nice extras. We get some postcards with artwork on it of Pinhead and the Cenobites. We get this booklet of concept art and uh, storyboards from the original Hellraiser. We get a double-sided poster. We get Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth. We get Hellbound Hellraiser 2 and Chatterer. Man, you need to brush and floss stat. And of course, the original classic Hellraiser. This is an awesome loaded set full of goodies. I'm so glad to be able to add the Scarlet Box to my collection. And again, don't want to turn this video into an Ebates shill video, but this video was brought to you by Ebates in that if I hadn't gotten that surprise Ebates check, I wouldn't be able to have bought this set. So follow the link in the description. Check out Ebates if you do a lot of shopping online. It pays off. Trust me. If you follow the link, if you sign up under me when you make your first purchase, they throw a few bucks at me. So hey, win, win. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Take care. And until next time, peace. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.